This is a Fox News alert. There is breaking news in the case of the Australian woman shot to death by a police officer in Minneapolis after calling 911 to report a crime. Fox Minneapolis reporter Christina Palladino joins us with details. Christina. Tucker, this is the alleyway here in southwest Minneapolis where 40-year-old Justine Damon was shot and killed by a Minneapolis police officer. She was shot just a few doors down from her home on Saturday night. We understand that Damon was calling to report a possible assault happening in this alleyway. Now, we just got an update from the state agency investigating. They tell us that the two officers were patrolling in their car with their lights off when Damon came out of nowhere and startled both of them. We understand that 31-year-old officer Mohammed Noor was in the passenger seat. He is the one who shot Damon in the abdomen. She died on scene. Investigators say she did not have a weapon on her, and the body cameras of the police officers, as well as their squad camera video, were not turned on. Now, Damon, she moved here from Sydney, Australia, three years ago to be with her fiancé. She was set to marry him next month in Hawaii. We've lost the dearest of people and we're desperate for information. Piecing together Justine's last moments before the homicide would be a small comfort as we grieve this tragedy. The death of Justine is a loss to everyone who knew her. She touched so many people with her loving and generous heart. Now, Nor has apparently refused to be interviewed by state investigators. The other officer, Matthew Harrity, has already sat down with detectives. Nor has been on the force for about two years. He's the first Somali-American police officer to be in this precinct, but he already has three citizen complaints filed against him. One was closed without discipline. The other two remain open, and we are attending a press conference in the next few minutes to hear from the assistant chief, the mayor, and and other council members as well. Tucker. Thanks, Tucker, Christina. We appreciate it. Well, there's a lot going on in the story and a lot we don't know. Mohammed Noor was an immigrant from Somalia. Is that a relevant fact? We don't know. But it's being treated as one by many news organizations. How do you know that? Because they're not reporting it. The Washington Post, for example, did a long piece on this shooting and made no mention of Noor's nationality or immigration status. They never even mentioned his name. They wrote an entire story about this and never mentioned the cop's name. Why is that? Vincent Hill is a former Nashville police officer, and he joins us. Mr. Hill, thanks for coming on tonight. So um, it seems odd. To, a bunch of things about this seem odd to me, and maybe they're significant and maybe not. First, how common is it for a police officer to, sh officer to shoot someone through the door of a vehicle? Well, Tucker, thanks for having me on. It's very uncommon for a police officer to shoot outside of a vehicle from the inside. Most departments forbid it. So I question what made this officer, Officer Knorr, believe that there was an imminent threat against either his life or his partner's life to shoot three times inside that vehicle and strike Ms. Dedman. Uh, I really question that. It seems bizarre. Uh, now, the second notable fact, it seems to me, is the body cams and the dash cam. So at least three cameras present, none of them on, either during the shooting, before the shooting, during the shooting, or after the shooting. Why would that be? Well, Tucker, I don't want to speculate. There could be several reasons. Of course, body cams in general are very new to most police departments across this country. I believe Minneapolis has only been using body cams for about a year. So mm -hmm. when officers are approaching a scene of a call, they have a lot that they're thinking about. It could be that the body cam was not one of those. I don't know why the dash cam, if it was available, wasn't on because, of course, you're responding to a crime or reports of a crime. So yes. at least the dash cam in itself should have been on. Now, I always give cops the benefit of every doubt because it's a really hard job and a dangerous job. Um, and so maybe this isn't meaningful, but you tell me what you think. This guy had been on the force for two years. He had three complaints against him. Does it seem like a lot? For someone to have only been on an apartment for two years, it definitely seems like a lot, especially the last one, I believe, was this past May. So here we are just two months removed from that, and now a young lady is dead, and it's, it's very tragic. So I really question what those reports actually said 
Was it something that the department should have said, hey, maybe this officer is not fit for duty? So you have to question that. Yeah, you certainly do. Can you, and again, there's a lot we don't know, and I can't stand it when people speculate irresponsibly. But since you've done this job, can you think of a scenario in which what happened or what we know happened makes sense? Tucker, I, I've thought about this all day, and the only thing I can speculate from an officer point of view is there was something that made that officer believe there was an imminent threat against his life. I think there's reports now that there may have been a loud noise by the vehicle. Uh, there's reports that she startled these officers, but we have to take into account she, they received the call that a female was probably being sexually assaulted. So right. common sense should kick in and say, well, is this possibly the victim or is this the 911 caller? I know when I've answered 911 calls, I always wanted to speak to the caller to get their perspective, right. to see if there's a suspect, to see if we need to set up a perimeter. So I don't understand what led this officer to believe not only did he have to take her life, but if you think about it, he put his partner's life in jeopardy yeah. by shooting across him. It's unbelievable. I mean, whatever he thought, he cannot have imagined this was the perpetrator.